Hey farmers, what's going on? Welcome back to another Hated video. In this video, we're going to be playing a bit of Derby. As you can see, there's just one minute and almost 30 seconds left till the Derby starts. And also, I stacked my machines for the Derby for the first time. Well, not really the first time, but for the first time in the longest time, because as far as I can remember, I haven't stacked my machines with the products in like three years. In Derby, the way is partly because I never used to be in a very competitive neighborhood. And secondly, I never used to do a lot of production tasks. I basically do only truck tasks, town tasks, and sometimes boat tasks. But this time, I thought let's just check my machines with the products. And as you can see here, I'm making some big potatoes. I've got some woolly hats there, cotton shirts. I've got some muffins. So I've stacked a lot of items. I'm really confused right now. So let's see what tasks appear. And let's see what I can do. There's only 35 seconds left. You can see there's five people already online. So I'm going to have to quick to get a better task. I mean, anyone can take a better task because your neighbor at the end of the day, you have to work together to win, so it's not a problem. And yeah, 25 seconds left. I'll also be talking a bit about the stacking, how I did it, but I know this is not really a proper video for the stacking, but it's just that I stack for the first time in the longest time, like after such a long time. So come on, let's see. I'm also a member, so I won't be able to trash tasks, but that's not a problem because other people will be able to do it. So here we go with the derby. It's a normal derby and, oh my gosh, I'm really nervous. Okay, I took the help task. Well, am I quick? Yes, yes we are. And there's, no, there's the tough task, but I, like, I didn't even prepare for this. This is so crazy. Uh, I just hope that they can, you know, trash it because I'm not even gonna do it. So, well, now I need some helps and I'm just gonna, Let's, whoops, my barn's full. Yeah, I remember I filled up my barn with a lot of paper stuff. So yeah, 30 help is definitely a lot. So, okay, let's go to my neighbors and let's see what I can do. Okay, I'm over here and I'm just gonna see where, all right, there we go, that's a lot of help. We're gonna do that. That's six and, oh, I think he's giving me helps. Um, yeah, that's really nice. All right, there we go, that's uh, 10 and I still see the help sign. For me, help task is definitely not a problem because I can, you know, get a lot of help from the paper and I also have a lot of friends so I can help them too. So yeah, um, okay, let's go to Dora King again and just help him, let's see. Okay, I can't, where's the help? I can't find the help now. Come on, where's the help? Where, oh, there we go, that's some apple trees. We're gonna do these. Oh, that's a lot of mango trees. Wow, that's so nice. Okay, we're gonna do all that. We are going to do all that. Dora King, you rock, you're a superstar. There we go, 26 and trees on. Okay, we're gonna tell him four more. So let your neighbors know whenever you need any help because that's how a good community works. You rely on each other and you help each other. So we're gonna do four more and I think my task is going to be done. One, two, and... Okay, I just need one more. All right, let's go and do my task. And then I'll be back with another task because I really wanted to show you guys like a, at least one production task. I'm not even sure if that's gonna happen, but I stacked nonetheless because you never know what's gonna happen. So we're having this really cool Town event, and there I go, I just completed my task with 320 points. I mean, I always do 320 because that's what we do, you know? Okay, there's the town visitor mechanic task. All right, I'm just gonna see. I just completed my task, as you can see over here, and the derby task clock. I'm at the top with one task done. And there's some more tasks on the board right now, which um, there's like the fishing task, so we don't trash any tasks that are under 320. Like, we do all of them. Because according to my leader, I think she's trying to win a place in the leaderboard. Well, we're currently at the position. Um, yeah, our rank really dropped. Wait, not now. We're actually 140 right now. That's really impressive. So my leader want to go to, like, the top three. And that's why we don't trash a lot of tasks. Which I don't really agree with. But, I mean, that's how the things are going to work anyway, so I'm not even going to do anything about it. So, yeah, let's talk about the mechanic task and see if I can do that. That's like nine mechanics. 
And I do have all my townies ready just all the time. I keep them ready. So let's go over here and see. Mechanic. Where is the mechanic? I'm not even sure. No, that's so insane. I don't... Oh my gosh, you guys. I don't even have one mechanic. Thank God I didn't take the task. I was going to get ruined if I took the task. I'm not even going to take it. But I think I'm just going to wait for like 30 minutes and... Uh, I wish I could trash these tasks. Let me know if you guys let me know if you guys trash your tasks because because we're not allowed to trash any tasks under 320. Whether you want to do them or not, but you just leave them on the board and it's kind of crazy, I think. But yeah, let's see what happens. Okay, now how you can stack for the products? Uh, this is not going to be a complete stacking video. I might make one in the future. But just like you stack your townies, like you make them ready and you don't collect them. The same way you make the products, but you don't collect them. There are certain products that you can make according to different tasks. For example, there is a task over here. A uh, tough task, which I didn't prepare for. You make 14 honey toasts and some yogurt smoothies um and you just keep making them in your machines and make sure your barn is full while you're making them the product so you don't collect them and you just keep them ready on machines anytime there's a task you can take it and then you can complete it quickly the same way in your coffee kiosk you can make a lot of hot chocolate you can make some apple juices over here and you can make a lot of cakes i think you make carrot cakes and for the pies you can make pumpkin pies for the chili task and you can also make feta pies, but I think it's better to stack just for one item rather than making two. Um, on the popcorn part, you can go for the chili popcorn. On my bakery, I've made a lot of potato bread and I did some black green muffins. On my sauce maker, I think I've done some olive oil. And you can see there's some cotton shirts. So there are different products that you can make in each machine depending on the task. And in this way, anytime there's a basket task like this, you can take it and you can do it quickly. And that's the purpose of stacking so that you don't wait and that you complete your derby fast. Unfortunately, there's uh, not a lot of basket tasks appearing right now, so I think I'm just going to have to wait. And yeah, I'll be playing this journey just like any other derby but that's all about this video i just wanted to talk a bit about stacking basically that i stacked my derby for the first time in a really long time and just wanted to show you guys how we play derby so we do all the 320 tasks as you can see on the board and we don't trash they're like three fishing tasks if i were the leader i would have probably trashed one of these but we can so yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and let me know your strategies and your priorities to play the derby. Subscribe to the channel for more handy videos coming. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.